What's up guys, welcome to another video by the Football Physios where we cover everything in the world of soccer, fitness, and rehab. Now today we have another very, very special video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to stay tuned to all of soccer's latest injury updates. Now for the people following this channel, you would have seen that last week we did a video on Paul Pogba. We did an injury specifically as an incident analysis to when he injured his meniscus and the options that he had in terms of recovery. Now, since then, quite a bit of information has come out. We learned the location of his meniscus tear, as well as the fact that he will not be getting surgery at this time to fix this issue. Now, we're gonna go over exactly why that is again, but first we're gonna do a little animation to show you guys exactly where the injury is in his knee. Now, this here is just a skeleton, and here we have the upper leg that you see here, as well as the lower leg that you see here, and the meniscus is a structure that sits between the two right here in order to give cushioning and structural support between this bone and this bone. Now, if you look at the other leg, I actually outlined the lateral meniscus, which is where his injury is right here and if you kind of look from the structure from the top down you can see that it's shaped almost like an oval shape here now the meniscus has different zones in it which get varying different amounts of blood supply if you look at the outer portion of the meniscus here this portion gets a lot of blood supply and a lot of healing capacity that is a good thing if their tear is here on the outside, it is more likely to heal. But if the tear is more on the inside through this portion right here, it's a little bit tougher to heal because there's less blood that goes to the inside of the meniscus as compared to the outside of it. Now, this here is exactly where Paul Pogba's meniscus tear was. And again, depending on the location of the tear being outside, to inside, as well as the shape of the tear, being if the tear is going this way, or this way, or even a huge one kind of coming across like that, will determine his outcome. And again, depending on size of location, he had three options, right? He had surgery to repair the meniscus, putting the pieces back together, which would have been about four to six months out. He had the option to remove part of the meniscus, depending again on the size of the tear and the location, and the option for rehab only, which would potentially get him back the quickest, but in terms of long-term injury relief, you may have to revisit this problem down the line. Now, I was listening to a podcast the other day, the Gab and Jules podcast by ESPN, and Julian Laurent, who co-hosts the podcast, who is French and very well connected with the French players and the media, had a really, really insightful take as to what was actually going on on the inside with Juventus, the French national team, as well as Paul Pogba himself. I'm about to play a clip of that conversation from the Gavin Jules podcast, and then we'll come back for our reaction to it. Paul Pogba has made his decision for Juventus regarding his surgery. Jules, is this a gamble? I mean, I, th I find this story fascinating because it's very much kind of club v country situation in the sense that Juve wanted him to get surgery which would have ruled him out until 2023, but at least would have cleaned his meniscus, would have cleaned the knee, you would have known that the surgery, well, I mean, there's always risk that it doesn't work, but usually this works, and that he will be fit again for the start of the new year. But that would mean missing the World Cup. And, and Paul didn't want to miss the World Cup, he wanted to, to try to be there, so instead he's chosen the other way to get rehabilitation, which is without the surgery, which means he would be out for five weeks, have a diff different treatment, and then hope well, he hopes will be fit and that the knee will be much better and be able to play, go to the World Cup and etc. etc. If you're Juve, you can't be happy with that. I get they can't be happy, but I think if they know Paul Pogba and they know Paul Pogba yeah. has been there before, obviously the World Cup is is absolutely huge. No, it is. Um, I don't know if he's going to get to play in another one. I mean, possibly, potentially, could Surely be touch not. and go. Yeah, yeah. So, I think you have to you have to understand that and you have to respect that. And I think it's 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 Pogba's body, it's Pogba's right to go and decide this. Bearing in mind that he's also running a big risk because he could he could lose both. He could, you know, bring it to five weeks, come back, get hurt again, yeah, yeah. miss the World Cup. Setback. Yeah, for sure. Have another setback where then he misses part of next season too. You know, so I I, I feel for him that he's it in this situation. Is. Yeah, it is. It's not ideal at all. Well, 
That was very interesting, and let's pick that apart piece by piece. And the first element that I want to tackle is the club v. country element that was stated at the start of the podcast. Now, in our previous video, we already stated that it is possible that the respective medical staffs for Juventus, as well as France, may have different priorities, which is completely natural and understandable. And it's up to the player to voice his opinion and decide what is best for him. Now, according to Julien Laurent, who again, very well connected in the French sphere, he said that Juventus wanted him to get the surgery to fully fix the issue so that way he could be healthy for the remaining of his three year Juventus contract. And unfortunately, that would mean Pogba missing the World Cup, which to Juventus, to be fair, that's not their problem. Naturally, as any soccer player would, playing in the World Cup is a massive deal and Paul Pogba voiced out for himself and decided to go a different route. Now, hopefully it does work out for Paul Pogba, but hope isn't certainty. And when you're dealing with clubs and national teams of this size with tournaments of this importance, like the World Cup, and Serie A, they are looking for results that they can depend on. And at the end, Gab Marcotti brought up a really, really good point of the fact that yes, he actually could end up missing both because of this decision, which is entirely possible. It's entirely possible that he does really hell with rehab and he has, you know, uh, taking steps to getting back to the field, maybe playing a little bit with Juventus, getting closer to the World Cup, and he has a setback, and then he's out for the rest of the World Cup, as well as potentially the rest of the Serie A season. And this would really be a, a worst case scenario, a nightmare scenario for everybody involved, including France, Pogba, and Juventus, which is again, a lot of risk, which is again, why the club likely wanted him to get surgery to fix the issue. So best of luck with Paul Pogba as he hopefully returns from this injury. It looks like from the reports, He'll be getting back to the field in about five weeks, so about a month. That gives him about two and a half months to test and improve his fitness as the World Cup starts in the middle of November. Thanks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all next time.